All right, I really want to show y'all how fast and efficient it is to customize a 3D character inside of Cray Studio 3.0. So let's go ahead and set a timer up for one minute and let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and open up 3D Creator. Let's drag in Tom and it's going to open up our customized section for us here. Let's go to our top and let's choose a pajama top. Let's go to a bottom and let's go with the harem pant and let's change his shoes to some gum boots and let's go to his hat and let's try this Santa hat to the season. Let's go to his hair and let's choose a side cut, his glasses. We're gonna go with this retro look and we're gonna give him a beard and some eyebrows. Let's go with the teardrop. Let's give him some accessories. Let's go with the backpack and the gloves. And then we can come down here to our colors and let's change his hair and let's make white since it looks like we're starting to create a Santa type of character. Uh, let's go to his top here and let's go with red. So I'm gonna go to this red section here, save that as a favorite. Come down here to my bottom and let's choose this red that I already did for my top. His shoes we're gonna leave black, his hat we're gonna leave the same. His glasses, we're going to go and let's make it this green retro type color here. And let's save that as well, because let's go ahead and make his backpack the same color as well. All right. So that is how fast and efficient it is to create characters inside of Create Studio 3.0 is. So you can use this to create characters for your own projects. And it's just a really powerful feature that you now have access to. Right. All right. One thing I want to show you is that you can right click on Tom in here and then save as a preset. And so now if you scroll down your presets under your settings, you'll see that you have that character you just created for presets to use for future projects that you're working on, right? So again, super powerful and easy way to make characters and then save them for maybe you have additional projects that use the same character. That's a great way to um, incorporate that into your projects, right? All right, so hopefully you got some really cool quick tips out of here. Can't wait to see what y'all create. And I'll catch you on the next tutorial.